मैं देह नहीं नश्वर नासी मैं Out of the vast set of karmas, how is it decided which karmas take effect in a particular life? Now this is a very good question. Remember when I'm talking about karma, I'm talking about the law of all laws. It is so deep and so vast that even the devas and demigods and angels go into a tizzy trying to figure out what is my karma. Why did this happen to me? It is the law of all laws and it's very deep. It's not just so simple that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. No, it's not. It's something much more than that. It's something deeper than that. Now the karma which is already upon you is called your prarabdha karma. That is the karma which has come down to you you have been born in the United States of America. You cannot change that birth. Or an Indian person like me can't say, Oh, I want to be like an American person, you know. I want to be very fair. I cannot do that because my prarabdha karma has given me my face and form and circumstances for this life. I have to make do with what I have. Live my life to the best. So this is very important to understand that when you make an effort to meditate by Kriya or get guidance from your Guru, guidance for the future, from your Master, it's all to change and mold your karma for the better in future. This is to be remembered. So, <clears throat> destiny is not something which is very fixed and which cannot be altered as people wrongly misunderstand. Destiny is something moldable. Destiny is something graspable. It is within your grasp. And you can make your future. You can also prevent things from the past. This is very, very important. So we all are here because of destiny. What would you say about that? How are we all here now? We are here because of the cycle of birth and death, which was brought about <coughs> by our unfulfilled desires and these unfulfilled desires happen because of the type of karma that we created the, the type of action and reaction so <clears throat> the cycle of birth and death is determined by karma our entry into this world of sansar our actions in this world of sansar and how we go from this wheel of time back to the subtle era the soul travels from birth to death it is propelled by unfulfilled desires of the past hence we are all the product of our karma unless some masters who have finished their karma choose to reincarnate again pulling upon them the veil of maya the veil of desires and deliberately being born for the mission of liberating other souls that's a different cause that's a different case <clears throat> but otherwise everybody is in the wheel of kal chakra in the wheel of time <clears throat> and they take birth are born they avail of their karma good or bad they suffer it or enjoy it and then go back into the astral and causal soul consciousness so the soul keeps reincarnating and your karma your destiny can be changed the karma and the destiny it can be changed by the practice of techniques like Kriya Yoga Patanjali's Raj Yoga meditation philanthropic works doing your work which you are meant to do using your virtues to the fullest extent and the best of your ability all these factors of the will to good and be good philanthropic works being good to your neighbors doing good works will all evolve you and assist you in getting out of the cycle of birth and death in the Sanatan tradition of Hindu thought 
we say that the cycle of birth and death is determined by karma and yoga is the remedy to get you out of the cycle of birth and death. That is the cycle of bondage. So bondage to birth and death, in spite of you not wanting a miserable life, in spite of you not wanting a certain vocation, you are forced to do it. This means the momentum of your past actions has propelled you into the present reaction of doing what you do not want to do, getting a job which you do not like, having a life partner who you do not get on with. It is all governed by the karmic law, which is called the triform fate. The triform fate of past, present and future. You may partially change your past, you may not change your present, and you can totally change your future under the normal circumstances. Now being a philanthropist and being a direct practitioner of yoga, both are evolutionary processes. Being good to your neighbor is also assisting in evolution. But the degree of rapidity of your evolution varies. Kriya Yoga is called the lightning path because in Kriya Yoga the evolution is very very fast. One half a minute cycle of Kriya Yoga gives you one year of natural spiritual unfoldment. This is the speed of Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is always practiced with concentration and breath in the Sushumna Nadi. <coughs> that is, in the Sushumna channel of your spine. And this gives you the fastest evolution. It is called the lightning path. Gaga and Manda.